And we're back talking with Mike Murnane, Star Wars. Okay, so you, now the creature Dexter, that was really, I mean, that that's your work, right? I mean, he's your guy. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely collaborative uh, pieces of another sculpt of another sculptor, Robert, who had this little scalloped head, and George was like, I like that. So it's like a collaboration with George. All the stuff is going to be run by him. And uh, Dexter, we just had like a sculpture jam. It was like, all right, guys, stop what you're doing. Sculpt as many characters as you can. We, he wants to see sculpture, wants to see a bunch of characters. We have to have a Jedi, a cook, some like senator types, and, you know, whatever else. Just go for it. And, you know, I've been drawn Star Wars-y stuff all my life, so I just went home and started picking all those out and see what would work and just make a ton of little armatures, you know, and start moving clay, and there'd be some characters where you just clump the clay. Oh, I see face. I'll work on that one later. And Dexter, he just, you know, we had 25 characters laid out. We had done, we'd each done a ton of characters, and he just sat there and was like, okay, the cook. And we were like, well, that was guy was kind of a cook, I was thinking, and he said, okay, and no, not him, how about him? You know, what about that guy? And he chose a guy that was uh, Robert Sculpt, and then someone else chimed in and said, no, that's from this 80s English TV show. He said, okay, well, you sure about that? All right. Well, okay, this guy. And, you know, he added little bits, and I changed it, and he said, okay, that's cool. And then made it, put it on a body and designed a forearm body, just kind of did two little bodies of options he could choose, and he chose this one, so we made a big one. And it was just, you know, kind of, I figured a cook would have four arms maybe, you know, thought that would be cool. And it was just a ornery old mercenary, you know, more story be bits start coming out. And you might make them up, you know, just to stimulate you while you're mm -hmm. sculpting, just like, well, maybe he's got a scar here because he's, oh, I cut off his finger. You know, maybe he's got this ring that, you know, little things that you keep adding all that stuff and just makes it more interesting. And like a, he, had a, he had a glottal thing here, like a Saimang monkey that I always loved. And it, you know, it evolves, he sees it maybe once or twice and just goes, yeah, that looks cool. Well, what was it like then working with George Lucas? I understand your office was right above his. Yeah, we were all <laughs> up on the third floor, maybe like 10, 20 artists, like animatic people that do a digital storyboard or on one side and sculptors and concept artists uh, were all on the other side, just slammed into this room and reference books everywhere. We have a reference library. We, uh, you know, it's all Star Wars nerds fully loving their, their you know, you've, you've smashed through this glass ceiling of this dream and you're just like, what? But you don't dwell on it too long because you have stuff to do. You've got to sculpt the new Stormtrooper and, and George is coming in every Friday and that's exciting because he's making decisions and that's it. That's the decision of the movie. So it's very independent. Like a lot of times you can work with people. Oh, well, okay, that's the idea. That's, we're going to do it that way. Okay, well, let me go check with the extra art director and that other guy, and then the advertising needs to... But, you know, with George, it was like he made the call. That's the call. That's it. And so that's, it's very independent. And the closer you are to the core of the project, you know, just like fine art is mine. I'm at the core. I'm drawing and doing whatever I want. And once you don't do that and you're working on something, you know, to make some money, you want to be as close as you can to someone going, hmm... No, let's not do that. Do oh. this. You either want to be that guy or be right next to that guy. And so every day you've got to be right next to that and come up with whatever you wanted sometimes. You know, do a sculpt off of someone else's drawing. Do your own drawings. Do a sculpt from straight scratch. It was, it was a lot of, like, different processes mm -hmm. in, on that show. So great. his studio is the Skywalker Ranch or, or where you guys... Yeah. I guess it's, it would be considered his studio, right? Yeah, it's his yeah. special workshop of workshop. magical splendoritude. Yeah. It's built, the place is built to make artists like feel the magic and access it quickly. Like I've heard Robert Redford goes there to concept out a movie or something. And you can see why. You walk in every morning and you turn around and look at Lake Ewok and you're just like, like, how the hell did this happen? Uh -huh. But, you know, I'm obsessed with it, so I guess it happened that way, but... It's pretty random too, so you're you're accepting the randomness and you're just being thankful and going up and doing the job and having fun. Go up to the third floor and you see all the sculpts and all the original artwork that he stores in the first story. 
and you know there's there's only two buttons on the elevator and you have a key to the third floor <laughs> so you know it feels very special everyone yeah. likes to be a vip absolutely and and you were you know if you're a star wars nerd then uh i mean it doesn't you get were better just than loving that. it yeah, oh yeah. yeah thus and, far in your career do you think that's your like the best job you've ever had uh one of them if I'm at the early concept phase like that, every job is pretty darn rad. That one, at the first, like, up to sculpting the Stormtrooper, you know, and helping design it a little, uh, and being a part of those designs is, is yeah, that's, that's when you're at the most. And, you know, I was, what, nine years old when it came out, so that full loop is, is just weird. You know, and even talking about it now, it's just kind of like, well, yeah. Yeah. Got lucky and had a ton of fun and would do it again, you know, if you could. Right. And, and all the other movies are super fun. If you get in early on characters, it's really fun. If you like the story and you, you know, resonate with what it's doing, and I love the sci-fi fantasy stuff, so that stuff's perfectly built, and you're sculpting monsters and Jedis, and this is all my, my core stuff. So, you know, if I'm working on my own stuff, like fine art-wise, I, I can find that juice because you... You, if you, you know, you got to work and have that free time to get to that place where you really are like, ah, this is, now I'm finding that same, that same excitement. But movies are so specific because you work on this little thing for maybe seven months and then a few years later this movie comes out and it goes on this whole other journey and you kind of get wrapped up with it. So you get this great piece and then the piece gets... And you might get a credit and people say, right on. And you're just like, yeah, cool. I'm on this new thing now. So it's right. fun By to have Right, by the time it act actually gets the recognition and stuff, it might be, oh, a project or two in your past. Yeah. Oh, and free. of course, Star Wars is super unique because it's a gigantic property that, you know, and the movies might not have been, you know, episode one, two, and three were getting progressively better, but they didn't have the same thunder. But you didn't really care because you're designing it and you who knows what it's going to turn out to be you know it's like the architecture thing you might, oh yeah and that's the way i want the house to work but you got to get people to actually build that like that and so the the collaborative process of it all you don't know where it's going to go and that's very similar to the fine art thing you just go for it and stuff just happens and that randomness of production that you know, they take you off one thing one day and just say, sorry, that's put on, that's done. We're going to cut that sequence out, do this whole new thing. And it's just like, okay, great. Well, Mike, my friend, we're out of time, but uh, pleasure meeting you. Really appreciate you coming in, making time in your schedule to you. sit down with me. Thank so, you. All right. Yeah. Hey, best of luck to you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Hey, you guys, thanks again for watching and uh, look forward to seeing you next time on Local Light. Take care. John Compton here saying thanks again for watching. And remember, if you've got a guest idea, let us know. Just visit localite.com.